In this video, we're going to go ahead and we are going to set up a resource page in our Podio website. You want to log into your Podio, and then you're going to go up here to Edit Site. And similar to the blog that we set up, we want to go in here and we want to create a new page. So I've got my home, I've got my blog, I've got the course. We'll do, we'll do a number of things here. We're going to want to edit our navigation bar here. And then we're going to want to create the resource page. And then we're going to want to link any of the resources that we have on that page to the proper resource that we're going to link to. Let's go ahead and we're going to click on home page up here in the upper left hand corner. That's going to give our options for all of our pages. And what we're going to do here is we're going to click on a new page. So here's our new page option. It's popped in there. We're going to click on that again because we want to change what it's going to just say new page by default. So we're going to click on page settings and then we're going to go up here and we're going to call this resources. And then here on the link, we don't want this ugly link. So we're going to take that link out and we're just going to call this resources. It replaced that long number that was there to resources. So now it's got a more user-friendly, what they call slug or web address. We could put in the search description if we wanted to. Again, for the choose image, I'm going to use my image that I use up here for the membership answer man for a lot of my marketing type stuff. So that's there. That's going to be an image that's visible in search. So there's our new page. Now, obviously, what we need to do is we need to put our section in here for all the resources that we're going to list. We're going to click on the plus button right here. When we click on this plus button, it's going to bring up this new section here. Basically, it's asking us what is this section. So I'm just going to put in this new section. We could do a grid. We'll edit this. We can click anywhere in here. It'll pull up the edit option on the left. And then you could put the resources here. So this would be um, go down here to item. This is the first item right down here, very, very bottom. Click on that, and then here it just says item, and then here we could put free resource list, and then here we could put a blurb for whatever it is, so and that was my free resource list, and then here in the button, we could do something like get it now, and then we would have the link to the page for the free resource list. We could go back to item number two here. This is going to be this one right here and title would be join the community. Okay. And then we put whatever we wanted in here for join the community. Uh, you'd create the button here for it. Join now. We'll do this so that the button shows up. We're going to go back. We'll do the same thing up here for button text on free resource list. Again, we click on free resource list. That opens up the, the button. We'll go ahead and do the HTTPS so the button shows up. These, again, are going nowhere right now, but just want to show you what the buttons look like. And then we'll go back, use the back button. We'll do item number three, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Could do it some information here. Subscribe to my, how about this, to the membership answer man's YouTube channel and never miss the content miss out on any of the videos I regularly regularly <laughs> post subscribe to I don't know how big the button will be let's just see what happens I'm gonna go ahead and put the YouTube channel in here www.youtube because I've changed the name I can easily type it in there at the member ship answer man okay so that's a nice big thing so the other thing and it's just me i get kind of obsessive compulsive and i like everything to line up see how this button lines up with this button and then all of a sudden this drops just because i'm a little obsessive compulsive we're going to go back 
and then we're going to go to item one. We're just going to play with this and see what this looks like. We're going to drop this information down one. And then we'll go ahead and write some text in here for the free resource list. And you know what? While we're doing this, let's go ahead and we're going to actually put the link to the free resource list in there. So we're going to click on new page. Resources, services, products. So we want to go to the product page. That's the free resource list right here, page settings, and this is the link. I'm going to copy that. Now we're going to go and use the back button here. We're going to go back to the resources. And then we're going to click these. I'm going to change this free resource list item here. I'm going to go down to items, free resource list, add the link. We're going to do a control V. And then that should be fine. I'm going to use the same blurb here or over here, try and keep everything consistent. Pop that in, control V. Oh, that's not going to work. That's for all this right here. So the grid here, we can take that out. How about this? The member. Ship answer man's resources. And then we're going to go to free resource list because that's what we want to change. We want to change this text there. Control V. Okay, so that kind of brought things down even more. They're going to delete that and take all that out. I don't need all that. Okay, but I am going to pop space in there so that it is going to be even with that bottom one there. Okay. So that's going to the free resource list. Now we've had a community option. Let's go, uh, let's just stay in our editor. We're going to go back to our pages. Going to go to page settings, link, highlight that, copy. We're going to go back. We're going to go back to our resources. Click on it. Again, we want to change this link here to actually make it go to the community page. Click on that. This is an item, so we're going to scroll down to the items, join the community. We're going to click on that to get the editor open. And we'll put the link there. And then we're going to put I'm not sure about what to write here. I'm part of a community of people who are all learning and collaborating on how to succeed with membership sites. Don't know if we need that capitalized or not, but hey, we will. See, now I'm kind of looking at this going, you know, we don't have the same amount of space up top. So let me go up here. I want that space. And then what we want to do is go back. So now this is lower than everything else. Again, this is just me being obsessive compulsive. So we're going to go to the free resource guide. We want the button to go lower. So we're going to add another space there. And we're going to go back and we're going to do the same thing to the third item. I'm going to open that up. I'm going to put another space, drop that down a little bit. It's still not lined up perfectly. I could sit there and play with this more, but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna worry about it. That's gonna have to be good enough. We could sit here and do this all day long, trying to get things just right, but we're not gonna worry about that. So now let's just say we have now a list. Let's go ahead and publish this, and then we're going to do a view site. That's gonna open up a new tab, and then if we click on Get It Now, I'm gonna hold the Control button down. That's gonna open up the page for signing up for the free resource list. Okay, let's go back and look at this. We have the community. If we click on that, I didn't use the button to open a new tab, but there's our option to join the community. We could also do a preview option. 
I'm going to go back and then here to subscribe to the YouTube channel. That's going to take us to the YouTube channel. There's our YouTube channel. X out of that. Now let's say we want to do more though. So there's our YouTube channel. Let's go ahead and click on this. And we're going to do a new item. And this one will be join our community on Facebook. dedicated to the title of this group is different success with membership sites and then join the Facebook group and I've got that set up as a user-friendly address as well www.facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash success with membership sites.com. Okay. I'm going to go back. I'm going to go ahead and change this to green colors. Let's pop in my green code. There it is. It automatically changed the other stuff to white, which is great. We'll go back, go back to content. I usually have three dots at the end. That's what I've been doing on my other ones. So don't know if that's a big deal either. But again, I just, I try and keep my style the same thing all the way across. Let's go back to buy, uh, items here. Join now. And then subscribe to YouTube. Click on that. Do an end to go to the end. And then join Facebook group. Click on that. Go to end on the keyboard. Okay. We're going to do publish. So now, don't have our resources up here yet. We want to get that, don't we? So what we want to do here is click on this. And new link. So we have home, blog, the course, new link. This is going to be resources. Now what we want to do is go and get the link to the resource page. And go up here and click on that and edit that. Here's the link. Copy. We'll click on this again. Click on the option for resources and we're going to pop in the address. Go back. Publish. Go over here and do a refresh. There's our resources. We click on that. It's going to bring up the resources page. So now this should be join the Facebook group. That should open up the option to open up Facebook, but it should open up the group. So this content is available right now. I did that wrong. So that dot com needs to come out. So that's why we're testing it. Let's go back. And we're going to go back to this section here. Join our community on Facebook. Click on that. And see how see what I did here? That's why it's confused. You take that dot com out. Okay. There we go. Took the dot com out. See if you look in the lower hand corner here, I want to hover over it, the lower corner. It says success with membership sites, the dot com at the very end's out. I'm gonna hold the control button down while I click on this. Should open up in a new tab, and there's the group. Just like that. So there's our group. All right, so what else do we want on this? We have our free resource list. We have the community, the YouTube channel, our, and then the community on Facebook. 
We can now also put join the course. Uh, we're on the home page right now. We're going to go to our resource page. That's the page we want to edit. We're going to click on this and now we're going to go another item. This time it's going to be for our course. The course. And again, if we go up here, open link, that's just another quick and fast way to get the uh, course link if we can. Go back over here. Okay, we're going to put join now. And there's the link to that. I'm going to once again want that to drop. Okay, so we've got five items here. If we wanted to, and you know, we we're going to be so obsessive compulsive about stuff. We could put another one. So there's, you know, three and three. Uh, I think for the, the third item here, I could do the blog, but I don't think I'm going to worry about that right now. So that's what we've got as far as resources. You know, you create your, you know, a blurb for each resource on the quote resource page. And I've got air quotes here going, you can't see. And then you would create either link it to a page that's already set up or you would create a page you know kind of like i did for my blog 